Hello, my many friends of YouTube, Photoshop Tutorial here. Long time since I've done a tutorial, been busy with the older exams, um, not to worry, only a few more left, and then tutorials will return in full flow, and I will do that encore series, promise. Right, okay, in this tutorial we're going to be looking at importing images, because there's lots of ways to do it. First of all, let's create a new document. Do, 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 do. Oh, sorry. International paper, A4, 300. That sounds good. We're going to call this practice, even though we're not going to save it. Beautiful. So, first of all, a few ways. The first way is to open a file, Command O, and then navigate to a picture you want to open. And then open that. Now what we're going to do is going to go into the move tool, hit V, and drag it up to here, hover over here, and let go. And you can see we've now brought this image in. But there's more ways. Uh, let's say we've got an image in a browser, like this. We found a picture of some fish in Safari, which you're going to drag it and drop it. And you can see very quickly we've brought the image in. And it works the same from Finder. And what this has done is actually, when you drag from Finder or from Windows Explorer, um, you get this grid over it, and that is because it's using the place command. Um, and in the place, um, it's basically free transform, so you can rotate, um, you can scale, you can uniform scale by holding down shift. Um, Hold down shift to um, rotate in solid increments. I'm just going to hold down control or command alt and then hit Z. There we go. And that looks cool. Now we can go file, place, which is going to use the shift command, uh, the place command again, which basically loads an image in free transform, which can then be placed. I'm going to hit enter. We can have images above images, obviously. Um, in our layer panel, this is an ordering, so if the image at the top is above, all images below it. So we can see animals 01 is above layer 2 and layer 1, but is below architecture. If we bring it above, we can just drag it and bring it up, and it's now above. Very simple. Um, but I wanted to record this tutorial um, because there are some people who are very new to Photoshop, and this should help them out. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you know now how to know how to import images. And one more thing I just want to talk about very quickly is then positioning your images. Um, Command T is going to load up the transform controls. Like I said, you can rotate, you can move the pivot, which is going to change where it's going to rotate around. Um, for instance, if I moved it to the corner, you can see it will now rotate around that corner. Hold down Shift and drag from the corner to uniform scale. Hit yeah, Enter so to keep that. And then we can just position some of the others how we want it. Um, when you use the transform you can see it's gone very pixely and that is because um, the size it was a second ago it has basically scaled up their pixels but you'll see when we hit enter to exit the free transform or we can check that tick there to say we're done it will render the higher res and by scaling an image you can see that this is very pixely compared to our nice sharp images above so we can, there's a few things we can do we can go um, make sure that that layer is selected we can go filter sharpen uh, smart sharpen and it looks a bit blurred so we can tell it it's a um, it's a few different types um, say it's a lens blur uh, what's the radius of the lens blur yeah go away 
and just press OK. Like that. And as you can see, if we just press Command or Control Z, keep pressing it, see after, before, after, before, after. Much better. So that's a very brief introduction introduction to bringing in images uh, which you can use to create a montage. Um, say you wanted to blur the edges, there's a few things you can do. Uh, <clears throat> a very cheap trick is literally just to grip the eraser tool, that's the E key. Um, going to use the open, um, so the close bracket, the one next to the enter button. Um, right mouse button, make sure hardness is set to zero and we can just rub away there like I said very cheap trick and it's unadjustable later um, it's a very destructive workflow um, but for creating a quick montage it is very efficient so thank you for watching and I will see you guys soon oh and if you want to create a background select your background layer grab our fill tool, I love how like no matter how expensive the photo editing application they always have the fill bucket um, even Microsoft Paint has the fill bucket um, the colour swatches are down here due to colour I want to go with something disgusting like orange because I know it won't go oh and look at that you have just created the kind of uh, image that you see in your local parish magazine no offence to my local parish. So thank you for watching for the third time, I think. Maybe I've said that five times now. Uh, but thank you for watching, and I will see you guys soon.